Hey everybody, it's Bruce from Nature Calls and I'm sitting in the get out gear track chair. Uh, finally, if, if I was gonna design a chair, I think this is what it would be. Um, the, the idea of using your trekking poles as creating a nice high back chair isn't new, but most of those chairs are something that you have to sit on, on the ground, um, you know, just, just not what I would like. Um, I wanted something that I'd be up off the ground a little bit, not sitting on the cold ground, something that's a little bit uh, easier to get in and out of. And uh, so that's what they did at Get Out Gear, and this is it. It's uh, trekking poles used to put a nice high back on it, and they've uh, this is their second version, so they're working through uh, probably some, some fail points in the first version, which is just fine. Uh, every, every chair company does that. And uh, this is great, one pound, four ounces, which is four ounces more than most of the ultralight chairs that are out there. My favorite A-Lite Monarch is one pound. I think the, 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 the Helinox is one pound. Um, I think the REI one is like one pound, maybe one pound, one ounce. So this one's definitely in the ballpark, plus you have all this added um, fabric, but you do have to use your trekking poles. Uh, most people I know have trekking poles, and any trekking pole can work with this. I'm actually using the Get Out uh, Goat goat Trek poles, um, and I'll do a short video on that, um, but this is great. And so here's the bag that the Get Out Gear Trek Chair comes in, and just by the way, here's a nice little elk track. Um, so it comes in, a. it's about 14, 15 inches long, and if you've watched my channel, you know I like to make things. So I like to look at the appropriate use of fabrics. And I think they did really good on this bag. I was thinking that maybe I, I need to make a lighter weight bag to save some weight. Looking at it, this is, is fairly lightweight, but it's light enough to be lightweight, but it's also strong enough fabric where things like the hub assembly and poles and things like that rubbing on it, it'll probably last quite a while. So I'm not gonna do anything with this bag. It's actually a pretty nice bag. We just pull it on out. There's the little kit. All right, so the, the chair part itself looks probably looks very familiar to other chairs. Um, just spongy corded, it snaps together, and uh, it's made a little bit bigger in the nice in the right spots. I've got other chairs, and they'll go with like the thinner um, aluminum all the way through to save weight. But like here, you've got a thicker pole. These are definitely thicker than what some of my other uh, chairs have. Um, but reality, it's one pound, four ounces. So my best, my favorite chair, the A-Lite uh, Monarch, put a link up, um, it's one pound. And all the other lightweight chairs are all one pound, basically. Uh, this is one pound, four ounces. So if you look at other chairs, it's that much fabric then you add this much fabric. So easily you can see where another four ounces. So you're not, for a bigger chair uh, that's still in that category, um, it's, it's right in there, right in there. Now the back is where you put your checking poles. And so this is this really unique hub assembly. Um, it's, it's, just, it's just really cool. It's well, it's thick. It's, it's definitely where it is. But like this chair has a five year guarantee on it. So, um, and it's also their second version, version two. So I can see, you know, they, they've made some progress. Um, they probably found some spots, like I know with the Nemo chairs and stuff like that, they had some stitch details they had to work on. So it's not, it's not like it doesn't happen. Now the base of the chair, it's got these nice little pockets, a lot of great reinforcements. There's definitely a lot in there. There's plastic inside there to probably reduce wear. Oh, they, they definitely put strength where they need it. It slips on easily. Easy for most people. There, now that's your base, ready to go. Now we'll put the trekking poles in, and any trekking pole will work. This just happens to be their trekking pole. I'll do a short video on that, just so you can see the neat features of this trekking pole. But you put it in, the handle's pointing out. Again, nice construction, nice reinforcement. And I have them fully collapsed at this point in time. Now we take the trekking pole tip, we put it in, you wanna make sure it goes all the way in, 
all the way in there. Can't have it up a little bit. It's gonna pry too much, too much torque. Um, and any trekking pole can work. Okay, so now it's all in there. And at this point, you'd be sitting on that bar. It's too low. Um, so you can't keep it at this low part. You'd be, that would be right in your butt crack. So what we'll do, using the stronger part, not the lowest part, a little bit stronger, we'll lift that up. And you can probably find out a good spot It'll go with um, everything. I'm gonna use the word carb as my starting spot. Now, if I sit in it, I'm not gonna hit that bar. So I could actually go maybe a little bit lower, but that, that's probably pretty good. So you can see it's got a nice nylon bucket area, lots of mesh, so it'll be nice and cool. Got a good layout, good good support system. Hey, now the best part. <sighs> Sit in. Ah, totally relaxing. Just love it. Um, fantastic. You know, as far as the support, it's as good as any of the other chairs out there. In fact, it could be a little bit better. Just the the, the flare of the the spot. Like my E-Light, the way I like that, it just has the two tubes going down and they got big balls and, you know, it, it's it's not, it's, it's a much more sturdy chair than these ones that are a little bit higher. But the beauty of this is it is higher. It's super high. Now what we can do, so this is your relax around the camp mode. Um, you know, talking about your great adventure you just had and what you're gonna do tomorrow and, you know, enjoying the, the beauty and the scenery. But say you wanna cook, so let's, change it to cook mode. What we're gonna do, is gonna raise the back up. Probably another inch and a half. Now it's a little bit more upright. It's definitely that more upright feel to it, but now I can I can work with my cook stove or look at look at uh, whatever, build little rock cairns or something. But you know this is this is definitely a much more upright, not as not as laid back. Nothing wrong with this either. Here we have the, the ghetto chair trek chair. Um, it was, the second I got it in the mail I had to of course set it up in my living room and I left it in my living room for two weeks and everybody that came in uh, the room and sat, you know, kids, friends, they all had to sit in it. Um, I weigh 230 and it's rated to 265 pounds. So it's definitely well, you know, within that range of holding up some pretty good weight. Um, in and out, lots of people using it. They all loved it. Um, in fact, the point where I'm gonna have to get another one now because um, Jaylene wants this one and I would like one too. And uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's that good of a chair. So um, it definitely is like any other chair, the little ball feet, which these are bigger than most. You know, if you're in soft dirt, you know, they'll go down. That's all chairs do that. Um, unless you, you know, you're on rock or like this is pretty stable soil here next to the river, um, but it's just great. So yeah, I, I highly recommend this chair. Um, gives me that back support that I'm always looking for, especially after a long day hiking. Uh, nothing better than back support. All right, see you out on the trail. Bye now.